five African nations heading to Qatar for the 2022 FIFA World Cup were confirmed on Tuesday night. Cameroon, Morocco, Tunisia, Ghana and Senegal will represent CAF in the first ever November-December World Cup. All five qualifiers booked their places at Qatar 2022 by winning two legged playoffs. Those playoffs turn out to be largely close affairs as the away goals rule sends Cameroon and Ghana through, while Senegal beat Egypt in a penalty shootout. Elsewhere, Tunisia held on for a 0 0 draw against Mali to see them prevail 1 0 on aggregate, while Morocco were the only big winners on Tuesday as they charged DR Congo 4 goals to 1. That is five goals to two on aggregate. Senegal won the second leg of the African playoff one goal to one in Jamnyadio thanks to a fourth minute goal from Bulai Dia and the team's finished level at 1-1 on aggregate after extra time. As was the case in the African Cup of Nations final last month, Mane was entrusted with taking the crucial fit Senegal kick and once again he made no mistake to give his side a 3-1 shootout victory. Among the three Egyptians who failed to score in the shootout was Sergio Mane's Liverpool teammate Mohamed Salah who uncharacteristically blasts his kick over the crossbar. The drama in Jamnyadio came soon after Arsenal midfielder Thomas Partey scored the goal that took Ghana to the World Cup as they forced a 1-1 draw in Nigeria to win the playoff on away goals. Partey struck after 10 minutes in Nigeria and although another Premier League star, William Truss Econ, leveled from a 22nd minute penalty, Nigeria failed to score again. The first leg ended goalless. Civil servants in the Nigerian capital were given a half day and free transport was arranged from the suburbs to ensure a capacity of 60,000 crowds to cheer on the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Unfortunately, they were beaten by Ghana. Carl Toko Ekambi scored in the fourth minute of other time at the end of extra time to give Cameroon a dramatic 2 goals to one win over Algeria in Blida and qualification on the way goals. Eric Maxim Chupumoti put 8 time qualifiers Cameroon ahead in the 22nd minute as they retained the lead until the 118 minute when Ahmed Touba equalized on the second leg of a playoff. But with Algeria leading 2 goals to 1 overall, having won the first leg 1 goal to 1 last Friday and seemingly set for Qatar, Toko Ekambi struck at the last minute and Cameroon will be the one to qualify for Qatar 2022. Arsadine Unahi scored twice as Morocco trounced the Democratic Republic of Congo 4 goals to 1 in Casablanca to reach the final stage of the 2022 FIFA Qatar World Cup for a sixth time in their history. Tariq Tisulati and Paris Saint Germain fullback Akraf Hakimi also netted for the Atlas Lions, who qualified 5 goals to 2 on aggregate after the first leg finished 1 1 in Kinshasa. The outclass Congolese Leopard trailed by 4 goals before Ben Malago snatched a consolation goal 13 minutes from time. Tunisia secured their place in Qatar despite being held 0 0 at home by Mali in the second leg of the playoff. A pre-match warning by Tunisia coach Jalel Kadri to his team that the return match will be even tougher than the first leg in Bamako last Friday proved spot on. Having built a 1-0 lead in Mali through a Musa Sissoko own goal, Tunisia were unable to build on their aggregate advantage and only scraped through. All the five African teams that will move to Qatar for the FIFA 2022 World Cup will have the duty and the responsibility to prove to the world the toughness, the tenacity, the vivacity and the rigor of the African football for the past decades. They will not only play for themselves and for their countries but also for the African continent. Long live Africa, long live the African football.